Hey guys, TF back here again, another figure review, and this time we have another DC Direct figure, and this time it is DC Direct, the Justice League, Superman. Now, I really, really like this figure. Um, uh, I did get it um, with my Batman. It is, uh, I, I got them both off of eBay, so really, really nice. Uh, here's the Batman, just for comparison. In height, they're pretty much... Um, Superman Staller in height, as you can clearly see. Um, so there, there's Batman. Um, really, really nice figure. I, I am really impressed with it. Uh, quickly onto the base, and unlike the Batman, um, which you, you'll see it in my review, I, I, I have a review on it already up. I'll put a link down there. Um, this thing doesn't really get stuck to the foot, so I'll talk more about that. I did talk more about that on the ba Batman review, so just watch that. A link will be down there. Um, the base, quickly on the base. Really nice looking base. Uh, it's silver. Um, pretty sturdy looking. DC Comics, uh, 2005, uh, made in China. Um, I think it's supposed to be asphalt. I'm not completely sure, but I don't know what this is supposed to look like. Um, one main, uh, just minor, minor gripe. Maybe they could have made this black or something, so it doesn't have to be blue. It's kind of standing out, but... It's fine. It looks a really. It's a really nice base. Um, quickly on the packaging. Before I forget, it's just a really, really simple packaging. Um, Superman collector action figure DC Direct. Uh, blah blah blah, and that's the Justice League packaging. Other figures. Um, in this wave, oh, there's a nice picture of Superman there. Uh, we had a. We have a. What's this girl's name? I forgot. Uh, Cheetah. Cheetah. This is Cheetah, over here, and then this is um, Flash. Of course, Superman, Sinestro, and then Bizarro. So, those are the other figures in that way. So, let's get on to the figure. Uh, really, really nice detail. Again, because he is a DC Direct, it's really, really nicely detailed. Um, what I really love about these figures is the head sculpt. Again, like the Batman figure, this has an amazing head sculpt. Although, it looks a little bit uh, older than he's supposed to. He looks pretty old here. But, it's still a really, really nice head sculpt. Of course, they got the right curl on here. It's very, very nice. The hair is well done. The eyes are nice. He does have blue eyes. So, very, very nice head sculpt on there. And again, nice S. Really shiny S. So, uh, this is a really shiny S, and the, re the rest is like a matte finish. So, it, it is different shaded. So, um, really, really nice. Uh, in terms of other paint details, you do have the really shiny S here. But again, uh, just a flat color, like flat red in the boots. It is a pretty shiny red, though, in the boots. Um, flat blue, flat red here, flat yellow, and flat um, red for the cape. Really shiny, though. Um, and the, the flesh color, flesh tone is pretty good. So, really impressed. Uh, Articulation-wise, um, in terms of head articulation, uh, it is less than the Batman. It's just a normal side-to-side, -side, but it's fine with me. I mean, at least it has a head articulation. But in terms of um, arm movement, it does have more than Batman because he does go out a lot more. Um, again, does go 360, single joint at the elbow, and does twist at both the wrists. Um, does not have a waist articulation though, like Batman as well. Uh, does go forward, not as nice as Batman again, so very, very nice. Does go back, so really nice. Does not go out, again, it's just a DC Direct figure. The single joint the knee, no twist, no bend, that's it. Um, so really, really nice figure. Uh, if you want to see a comparison to a Marvel figure, this is probably how big he'd be to a normal 6-inch Marvel Legends. Um, so just a really, really nice figure. I am definitely impressed with it. Um, again, I like how the cape is done, honestly. I like the, it's the great um, length of the cape, perfect uh, width. Um, and unlike Batman, he can stand by himself. I think Batman can stand by himself. I don't know. Um, let's check again. It's very, very difficult. Let's try to get him to stand in this video. There we go. We got him to stand. Okay, so there's that. Um, just a really nice figure. I definitely, definitely do recommend you pick this guy up. Just um, give him a try. I mean, DC Direct figures, I know they are not known for their articulation, but they are really known for their really, really great detail. So... I definitely do recommend you pick this guy up. It's really, really nice to have. Um, it, this, it does look like 
um, Superman, and it is a really good display piece. Um, and again, really nice molding on here. Muscle toning's uh, well done, not over, not super over overdone, but you do see the muscle toning here. So just the right amount. And the cape, the cape's just like um, drooping on here, so I like that. It looks really, really good. The cape effect's really nice. So. Yeah, that's pretty much my review on this figure. Let's just get him back on his base here. Um, does have the peg holder, of course. Um, so, a very, very nice figure. Um, I definitely do recommend him. And like what I say about um, my DC Direct figures, or just DC Direct figures overall, um, buy a figure that, or buy a character that you really, really like. That way, even if you don't really like the concept of the figures, you're going to like the concept of the character, and you're going to like it anyways. Um, so, that's my advice on these DC Direct figures. Uh, hope it would actually help you guys um, with picking up these kind of figures. So, uh, two thumbs up for me. I definitely uh, recommend them. It's really, really nice. Um, again, if I said, just uh, pick up uh, your favorite character from a DC Direct. If you're not too sure about this, if you're on the fence about it, just pick up, pick up uh, your favorite character on it. That way, you're going to like it either way. So, uh, thanks for watching, guys. Please stay, uh, stay tuned for more video reviews and other videos. Uh, please comment, rate, and subscribe, and have a good day.